Hello everyone, welcome to another video of RouteMyBrain.com. Today I'll be telling you how to use GNS3, which is a router simulator. It also simulates switches, but the main thing is that it's good at simulating layer 3 devices. Now, as you have read my post on RouteMyBrain.com, so you have installed it after reading my post on RouteMyBrain.com, so I'll tell you how to use it. Now, this is the first screen after which you get after installing the GNS3. Now, first you need to configure the Dynamips connectivity, which is the core of the GNS3. So go to Edit, Preferences, and I'll reduce it. Now, as you can see, Dynamips test. Now you need to do this because GNS3 needs to have a connectivity with Dynamips so that it can operate well. So we have done this. Now let's move on to further configuration. Now the next thing you need to configure is that configure your hypervisor and iOS images. So go to edit iOS image and hypervisor. Now GNS3 does not come with real Cisco iOS. You need to provide the iOS from yourself. So I downloaded these two iOS, which is for the platform 3600 and 2600. So if if I want to add an iOS to a platform, I'll go to Browse, find the folder where I have the iOS. I'll drag it, download, source. Like for example, I have downloaded this. I'll select the iOS then open and it will appear here now after the iOS appears here you need to select the platform which it belongs to like for example this iOS is for 3660 as you can see it so I'll select the platform and the model now a specific iOS can be used with a specific platform but can with but can be used with different models like for example a 2600 series iOS can be used with these models which is 2610, 2611, 21 and extensible module, mod select the module model which you want to use and yeah, then click on save. Now idle PC. What is idle PC? I'll come to this topic uh, later on because this is a very important configuration in GNS3. If you don't set this properly, your system can hang to death. Yeah, it, your system will freeze and will start using more RAM resources. Now, default RAM. Now, how much RAM you want to provide for your routers, which you're going to simulate? You can adjust it by using this eye looking. I use 256 MB. You can use less, but you need to check it compatibility with the RAM, uh, with the iOS, sorry, because every iOS have a specific RAM requirements. So be sure you check it from the Cisco website. So I'll just click, click close. Now it's time to add the routers. Now as you know that from the iOS manager hypervisors, I've selected only two iOS for two platforms, that is 3600 and the 2600. So I'll be able to drag only the 3600 series and the 2600 series. If I try to drag any other thing like 3700 series, it won't come cause no image for platform C3700. You can provide the iOS and then start using it. So this is enough for the time being. So I'll add these two routers. Now you can see that the red light here means these routers are switched off. Now the next thing is providing the connectivity between the routers. For example, you need to connect the R1 and R2 with a serial cable. So what it'll do click on this link and type go to serial click on this and click on this now they have connected via serial cable you can check it the topology from here also like serial 1 is connected to R2 serial 0 or S00 is connected to R1 serial not now sometimes is that sometimes you for a specific configuration you need to add some modular slots to the router. How can you how you can do that in GNS3? It's very simple. You go to right click. Oops, and you stop this. Configure. Click on R1 slots. 
like for example when I was practicing I already added a NM40 slot which is a four serial port connector and it has two fast Ethernet ports Leopard 2 FE it means two fast Ethernet ports similarly you can add oh this doesn't support DWIC and let's see if we can add anything else for Ethernet yep we can do that similarly for this one we can do that also slots it has a WIC 2T now let's try to add something else mm, for Ethernet why okay now we are added some more ports now sometimes happen that for example you're for example connecting a switch using a fast Ethernet from a router to it but sometimes the router don't have a fast Ethernet port so you can do this procedure for adding a modular slot into slots then you can do it it's so simple now the next thing comes how to configure the router it's also very simple like you connect to a telnet session using a router just right click and click on console no the console will not appear now because the routers are not started so what we'll do we'll start it first now the main now you have to take care of that you start each device at a time now first I will start this one start as you can see that this light has turned green and I'll show you one more thing how the my CPU usage has increased now you can see that my CPU performance is shooting up to 45 percent which should be around uh, 20 or less than 20 now let's see what our router's console says right click console I'll reduce the size no I don't like to enter the configuration dialog return to get started so see it's just like you're working on a real router and the main thing is that you're using a real Cisco IOS now let's see our usage oh it's still shooting up and it will remain like this now as the router has booted fully now the moment you enter the console now you need to set the idle PC value so just right, right click it and click on idle PC now GNS3 will calculate an idle PC value which will help you save the computer resources now the system that I'm using is a core i3 and it has 4 gigs of RAM but still it's using so much amount of resources now this box appears now the best practice is to select a value from this drop down which has an asterisk next to it so the number two option has an asterisk value next to it so I'll select this and click on OK and it has applied the idle PC value now let's see the resource monitor oh I think I've closed it I'll start it again now see the resource monitor value have dropped to 16 percent 17 earlier it was 40 and 48 percent it has not affected the RAM the RAM is the same so it is very important to use the idle PC value now one more thing that uh, you need to do in this that just see the screen what I'm doing config T line console 0 Exit timeout. Zero. Now it tells that the line console never gets disconnected, never gets timeout, because if it gets timeout, your CPU resources will again shoot up so it's a better practice to type in this command exec timeout zero so that's I think enough for the GNS3 intro now I'll be 
keeping you updated with new CCNA practice labs using on real hardware as well as GNS3 as it's not feasible for everyone to have real routers. So till then, happy routing.